Jared, what's happening? Mr. North, good Have to see you. Have a good day? Very good, thank you. So I wanted to tell you something I experienced the other day. In fact, it was with a client that, that you actually know. I asked the president of this firm that we're working with. Uh, it was a strategic planning deal, long slog, a lot of hard work. But to start the day off right, I asked him to offer you know, like a leadership moment, the type mm -hmm. of thing we do where you ask somebody on the team to uh, talk a little bit, thoughts about leadership, that kind of thing. So anyway, uh, he, he starts in on this topic of servant leadership that mm -hmm. we've been talking a lot about lately, and he used the word serve to start his conversation. And then he says, I think one of the most important things that we need to, I guess, possess as leaders is empathy. Mm -hmm. And the first thing that hits me is like, man, I don't do empathy. Mm. Where do you think it fits? Uh, when I think of sympathy, I think of you. And I don't mean specifically you, although I sometimes not. I <laughs> sympathize mostly with your football team or your baseball Stop. team. I don't have to empathize because uh, my teams are often a little bit more successful. But when I think of sympathy, <laughs> it's a general you. Yeah. Uh, when it's empathy, it's a general us. Okay. Uh, so whereas sympathy might be heartfelt and considering of somebody else's situation, uh, empathy is actually identifying with that situation. Sometimes it's because we were in the exact same situation and therefore we're able to put ourselves in their shoes. And when we can do that, I can see why he believes that's a uh, really important characteristic or a foundation of servant so leadership. So do you feel like you act actively do that? And that's a that's a that's a that's a goal forever. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that's something you have to be really intentional yes. to do. That's not something that happens on accident. It gets beyond good intentions when it comes to empathize, and you need to carve out time for yeah. that. That's one of the reasons why we seek margin yeah. as leaders, so we can step back, intentionally think of our people, uh, consider both what situation they're in and how they might feel in that situation. It's part of how we we take self-awareness move to social awareness yeah, and yeah, then think yeah. about how to um, you know really invest in that relationship in a rich so way. I feel like what happens to me is I, I, I almost feel the empathy afterwards hmm. okay so you know you met with somebody they've downloaded a situation and you're making some suggestions maybe how to attack it you're going back and forth and then afterwards you know the person's left or I'm driving home and I'm thinking about this thinking man that must stink to be him you know that kind of idea but it's after the fact, and I think it makes me less effective uh, that I'm not being intentional about it. So how do you go about, call, I mean, we're agreeing that to shift into an empathetic mode is a valuable thing to do as a servant leader. I'm asking you, how do you go about doing that? Because I don't think I do it often enough. Hey, leadership happens in an event, but I love, and this is something that you state regularly, leadership and, and organizational development is a journey. Mm -hmm. So uh, sometimes when we remember after the fact yeah. and when we come back and encourage beyond what happens in an event or in a particular time, you know, it, it, it demonstrates great servant leadership. It, it, it demonstrates that we care about the person, that we truly were listening, mm -hmm. and, uh, and maybe even that we had some time to think about how to come alongside them in that situation. I think, you know, there, there's some, some ancient wisdom that says prepare your mind for action, too. Yeah, and uh, sometimes as we enter into, you know, uh, more of a command performance time and we're in a group setting when we know, you know, there's the opportunity to run by someone or we've got an intentional engagement with someone, yeah. it, it could be wise to think about them as we're walking towards that meeting, much like I see you doing around here. At North you know North. what, that's a great idea because when I speak in public, I often write down the... the uh, emotional energy, the words that represent the emotional energy I want to bring to the audience, but I don't tend to do that for one-on-one -on -one or team meetings, and maybe what I need to be doing is just writing down the word empathy, mm -hmm. <laughs> just as a way of preparing my mind for action, as to making a commitment to that as a servant leadership characteristic. Yeah, yeah, that certainly is intentional living. And it's, it's better than sympathy, isn't it? Oh, it is. Again, it's it's us. It's We are in this together. This is ours. Okay, so we're know? feeling our way through it. This is where you are. This is where I am. This is how we're going to battle through this thing together, that's, whatever this thing might be. That's right. I, I, I'm, I'm not feeling, feeling bad or wishing something good of you. I'm with you in hoping together to, yeah. to take us to a new place. So intentional empathy. Yeah. We got it. Have a good day. Thanks, Roger. You too.